Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about a comedy romance film called It's a Boy Girl Thing from 2006. Enjoy your viewing. A girl named Nell spends her evening reading the story of Romeo and Juliet. Her hateful neighbor Woody dances to loud music. This makes it hard for Nell to concentrate. She asks him to keep it down. Woody says he will agree if his neighbor shows her breasts. Nell rudely refuses, but a moment later she accidentally tears her shirt, exposing her upper body. During breakfast, Nell's father brings a letter from university. The letter says that the girl is invited for an interview in a week. The parents are very happy about this news. They try to encourage their excited daughter. Meanwhile, Woody is having breakfast with his parents. His father tells him that he is the first in his family to go to college. In addition, there will be a football game soon, and the father expects his son to do well. You can see that Nell and Woody's lifestyles are very different. They come from completely different families and have completely different life priorities. Nell misses the school bus, and Woody gets a ride from his friend Harry in a brand new convertible. Woody puts on an Eminem track, and Harry heads off to school. On the way, the boys notice Nell walking past a puddle. Harry speeds up and drives over the puddle, completely dousing the girl. Nothing is left of Nell's hair, and a boy with a similar hairstyle praises his classmate's new look. At school, Nell meets Woody and his girlfriend. The boys begin to joke with the girl, but she clearly wins the verbal battle. In class, Nell and Woody sat next to each other. While the girl was distracted, the boy used her computer to access a banned website. The loud and distinctive sound attracted the attention of the teacher, who treated the incident with humor. However, Nell felt very embarrassed. After class, Woody's friend discusses with the boy what he should wear to the upcoming ball. Then the class goes to the museum, where the teacher asks the students to pair up to analyze the figures in writing. The teacher pairs Nell with Woody, and they stand next to a figure of a Mexican god. They then begin to quarrel. During the quarrel, the statue casts a spell unnoticed by the students. In the morning, Woody discovers some changes on his body. Nell, meanwhile, has a similar problem. Woody and Nell have switched bodies thanks to the magic of the figure in the museum. The neighbors start getting dressed to meet and talk urgently. Woody and Nell's body tries to sneak out of the house, but he can't avoid meeting his mother. Then Harry comes to pick up Woody, and the girl gets into the car. The boy, in turn, has to take a passing school bus. Woody tries to catch up with the vehicle and gets angry when he fails. Eventually, they meet up at school and don't understand how the body swap happened. Woody thinks it's a temporary effect and they just need to get through the day, because maybe tomorrow everything will be back to normal. In the first lesson, unprepared Woody embarrasses his neighbor by answering the teacher's questions with dubious answers. In the school cafeteria, Nell is approached by Woody's girlfriend and invited to go home to try something new. Nell then goes to Harry's car repair shop where he makes it clear that she must go to soccer practice today. Otherwise, Woody will get in serious trouble with the coach. Nell attends the practice, which is not very successful due to her lack of experience. The coach is very unhappy with Woody, and if he continues to practice in the same way, he will take part in the game as a fan. In the morning, Nell and Woody realize that they have not returned to their bodies. Woody argues with Nell about her behavior at practice, and he doesn't like what his body is wearing. Nell advises him to accept these clothes as long as they are not in their own bodies. Woody also decides to make changes to his classmate's image. The pair begins to deliberately ruin each other's reputation by doing strange things. The last straw for Woody was Nell's breakup with her lover. To take revenge, he plans to do something to Nell's body and goes with a local biker to do it. In the trailer where the boy lives, Woody begins to have doubts. He realizes that this would be a very bad thing to do and runs away at the first opportunity. The next day, Harry tells Nell that the biker slept with her last night and the girl is very upset about it. What's more, the whole school found out about it. Girl cries, and the teacher clumsily tries to support her, because in his eyes, it's Woody. Soon a boy comes to school and tells Nell that nothing happened in that trailer. She informs him that the biker is telling others something completely different. Woody decides to deal with the liar. The couple manages to defeat him, and the deceiver admits that he never had anything to do with Nell. Then the couple accidentally recalls the quarrel in the museum and guesses that the god figure they were standing in front of could have been involved in the body swap. Woody and Nell stand in front of the statue and try to convince the god that they are good friends. They then close their eyes so that the figure will return them to their former bodies. The plan doesn't work, and they realize that until a solution is found, they need to prepare each other for important events in their lives. Nell has to learn how to play soccer and use Woody's abilities, and the boy has to prepare for his upcoming university interview. The training goes well. The next day, Woody supports a friend of his ex-girlfriend who is being cheated on by her boyfriend. This friend invites him to visit her friends. Meanwhile, Nell goes to a party with Harry and gets very drunk. The next day, 
Woody helps his neighbor cope with her hangover and advises her not to drink so much. Their relationship is clearly improving. The couple spent the day preparing for the upcoming events. In the evening, Nell sneaks into her room where Woody was looking for an outfit for an interview. Nell helps with this task, after which Woody asks the girl to the ball, and she does not refuse. At breakfast, Nell's mother speaks ill of Woody and doesn't understand why her daughter has started spending time with him. Upset, the boy leaves after the woman calls the genetics of the neighboring family bad. In the evening, Nell visits the family and tries to find out where Woody is. Her father thinks she's still at school, and that's where she's headed. Nell finds Woody at the stadium. He's upset because he's missing the game and has a university interview. The girl tries to cheer him up, but he just walks away. The day of the interview comes, and Woody is invited to the principal's office. They talk about contemporary literature, and Woody gives the wrong answers. The principal says they don't need such a student, but the boy starts talking about rap. He says that rap is almost the same as poetry. The principal is pleased with Woody's reasoning, and the long interview goes well. Woody rushes to catch the bus to catch a soccer game. The game starts badly for his team. Nell notices Woody, who has reached the middle of the game. The girl is clearly determined to win. A touchdown is scored, and Woody and his parents watch as the girl finishes the game, bringing victory to her team. After the game, a representative of a good college approaches Woody, praises him for his performance, and offers him a place in their program after graduation. Nell meets Woody, and they both begin to share their successes. At the same time, a divine figure returns the couple to their previous bodies. Suddenly, Woody's ex-girlfriend kisses him. The guy stops the girl and looks at Nell, who decides to leave after seeing this. The next day, Woody begs his mother to let him talk to Nell, but the girl doesn't want to see him, so the woman won't let him in. In the evening, the ball begins. Woody feels awkward and looks around, hoping to see Nell. Meanwhile, the upset girl is already at home. Her father comes up to her and motivates her to go to the ball. Her father thinks Woody is a great guy. Moreover, the father gives his daughter a beautiful dress that is perfect for the evening. Woody is crowned king of the ball, and his ex-girlfriend is crowned queen. Before the dance begins, he notices Nell and approaches her without hesitation. They finally kiss and run away from the ball to be alone. The couple stays at their homes while their parents, who have been fighting for a long time, are happy for their children. The next day, Nell tells her parents that she will not go to university until next year. For now, she needs to rest. Her mother is against it, but now Nell knows better what she needs in life. She gets into Woody's new car, and the couple drives away. This is the end of the movie. If you have watched the video so far, you should know that I am happy to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow the news. Klonsak Recapped was with you. See you soon.